Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review for Space Mercenary Defense Force on Xbox. Now this released on the 1st of May 2024, developed by Tom Paradise and published by East Asia Soft Limited, who were kind enough to send me a copy for this video review. Now, this is currently on sale on Xbox. It's on its like launch discount, so it's going to be $4.19 normally, but you can pick it up on sale for $3.35. Now, this is a sort of roguelike survival shooter, very much like Vampire Survivors, those type of games, except instead of being a person... You are in space and you are flying a sort of like spaceship around. So this is one of those auto shooter games where you will move the ship and you'll avoid enemies and stuff like that. And you will have weapons attached. You can unlock more weapons and stuff like that as you progress getting XP from killing enemies. These can then be attached in one of the four positions on your ship. So you have different directional, like, aimings for them. And then, then it will aim and shoot on its own. Now, this is a quite a fun little game. I do enjoy this. The gameplay is nice. Not only do you have to survive for the wave, there's also, like, mini, like, missions to do while you're playing. So there might be, like, a mini boss to defeat or some kind of sort of side quest you have to do, some like optional event encounter will come out and you'll have to deal with that to um, earn rewards and level up more, which I thought was really cool. There's like dynamic threat events as well that are like timed, so not just enemies, but there'll be like solar flares and like lightning strikes and stuff like that, which I thought were really cool that you have to avoid on top. And then on top of that, there's a ton of upgrades here. So there's over 600 upgrades and they like progress with like branching paths, which is awesome. So you'll equip one weapon and then there's loads of different ways you can upgrade them and make them better. You can like combo your weapons together, like some weapons work better with others and you can then have a really cool loadout. And it does make every run very unique. And it has a lot of replayability. There's also unlockable ships as well. So you'll get credits that you can spend outside of a run. And these can be spent on new ships, skins, and permanent upgrades and perks and stuff like that. So um, there's also objectives to complete, which also unlock ship perks and modifiers and stuff as well. So there's more than just spending money in games to get progress you can actually read the sort of things you've got to do do them and it will unlock for you now on xbox this has 2000 game score and it's not the hardest 2000 game score to get either very straightforward um sort of completion list if you like your vampire survivors like roguelike games I definitely recommend this one. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It doesn't outstay its welcome in terms of length of its different runs either. And all in all, like I say, it looks all right. The sound's not the best. That's probably the worst thing about it. The sound isn't great. It's just sort of generic. But the enemy graphics are cool. The variety of ships are nice. The backgrounds look very spacey with different like planets and stuff behind them. And it's an all in all a fun little like action auto shooter roguelike and I had a ton of fun playing it. Now it's also available on PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch from East Asia Soft. So check this one out. But anyway guys hit that like button, hit subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game and are there any other like auto shooter roguelikes you'd like to see me cover i've been playing a ton of them i've got a few more coming to the channel very soon but i'm always on the lookout for brand new ones but until next time guys thanks for watching